Hello people, it's Gino here from realeverydayenglish.com. In today's video, I'm going to be covering a word which was probably one of the very first English words that you ever learned. It is the word well, okay? But there are so many uses of this word that I hear in my daily conversations that I have a feeling that there are quite a few of them that you guys might not be aware of, okay? So let's do this. Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Gino. If you are a person who is trying to improve your English and sound like a more confident and natural English speaker, then you're definitely in the right place and you may want to consider subscribing to the channel. If you do take the decision to subscribe, then please make sure you press the little bell so then you never miss a free upload. Okay, so the first use of the word well that I want to speak about is as a noun and what it means is a shaft or hole sunk into the ground from which we obtain water. Uh, you will hear it used in the same context for holes that we obtain oil or gas from, but usually when you hear well used in this way, it is about uh, a water well, so a place where we obtain water from. There are a few different variations of the word where it's used in a similar context, but in different situations, but I'm not gonna go into that for now. Let's just say that it's a shaft sunk into the floor from which we obtain water. Next use is to mean in a good or satisfactory way. Example, to do something well, okay? So you could say something like, let's say for example, you've been to watch your local football team and you feel that the team played to a really high standard. Then you could say something like, I feel like the team played really well today and it means to a good or satisfactory standard. The next one is to have a fortunate outcome or not. Now that sounds complicated, but the phrase we use to describe that is to go well or not go well in the negative, okay? So example, you could say something like, the campaign is not going well, and that means it's not having a fortunate outcome, okay? Number four, to mean in a kind way, and the phrase we use to describe this is to treat well, okay? So, for example, I could say something like, your employees work harder when they are treated well. And when you say treat well, it means in a kind way. Number five is with praise or approval. And the phrase we use to describe this is to speak well of, okay? So you could say something like, his friends always speak well of him. And it means they always have good things to say. Number six to do something in a thorough manner, okay? You'll often hear this in instructions, particularly in cooking or something like that. So to give you an example, you could say something like, add the eggs to the flour, then mix it well. And it means mix it really, really good. Number seven, intimately or closely. And the phrase we use to describe this is to know someone well, okay? So to give you an example, I could say something like, he knew my father well, and it means he knew him intimately and closely. Number eight, to mean very or extremely. In other words, to emphasize something, okay? So if I'm tired today and I want to express that to somebody, I could say, oh mate, I'm well tired today. And it, it's emphasis, I'm well tired. Or if you go into a shop and you think, someone, you think something is expensive, you can say something like, two quid for an apple, that's well dear, I'm not paying that and it's emphasis, okay? It's well dear, emphasize. And just in addition to that last example, we, the, the use of well to emphasize something, so for example, I'm well tired today, or I'm not paying a pound for an apple, that's well dear. It's something that is only used in British English as far as I'm aware. Number nine, in good health or not, okay? So example, I don't feel well today, and it means I don't feel in good health. Or you can say to someone, you look really well today, you look really well, and it means in good health. Number 10, which is kind of similar to number nine, uh, but we use it to describe in a satisfactory or good state, okay? So you could say something like, I hope all is well with your business, or I hope all is well with your family, and it means you hope that things are going good. Number 11, we use it when we pause for a second and we're considering our next words, okay? So I could say something like, well, I could meet you at 3 p.m. 
in response to somebody. And it's like it, it's like you're pausing, you're saying, oh, so your friend's told you that he can't meet you at 2 p.m. So you can say something like, well, I can meet you at 3. How's that? Number 12, to indicate that you are waiting for an answer. So if you've asked somebody a question, for example, and the other person doesn't answer you, you can say, well, well, and it means, come on, I'm waiting for an answer. As always, I hope you learned some new vocabulary points. Please leave a example using one of these things that I've taught today in the comments below. Uh, it'd be good to see what examples you can, you can come up with. Until the next video, take care, and I'll see you people soon. Bye-bye. Ciao.